The Samsung Galaxy S4 has some pretty awesome specs. We already know this, a five inch display, a powerful 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor and gesture based wizardry. But get it wet and tears will roll. That's what separates the S4 Active, which pretty much rocks the same specs, from its flagship sibling. It's dust proof and waterproof, and it can take underwater stills, but better still, the lovely folk here at the Horniman Museum and Garden have given us special permission under the guidance of the aquarium staff, of course, to dunk Samsung's action-ready smartphone into its tanks for a bit of fish photography. But before we take it for a dip, let's take a closer look at the phone. It may be fatter than the S4, but it doesn't compromise on stylish good looks, pitting it directly against the Xperia Z and Z Ultra. But you feel like you can be a bit more careless with it thanks to its rubberized ends and exposed bolts. In true Samsung style, it's rocking a solid plastic overcoat, which feels great in the hand and rocks a removable back cover to change the battery. Although we imagine a sealed device might be more appealing when it comes to keeping out water. But for extra peace of mind, its insides are protected with a rubberized ring. But you'll have to ensure it's clicked back into place and the micro USB port is closed properly. And don't worry about that headphone jack, it's fully waterproof. Samsung's also ditched those capacitive buttons for physical ones that will work much better in all conditions. Now, one of the Active's nicest features is its impressively bright and detailed 5-inch Full HD display, complete with great viewing angles. It's also swapped AMOLED for TFT LCD, so blacks aren't as inky and it doesn't have the same eye-popping brightness. Instead, things are more natural and less saturated, and video plays smoothly and looks fantastic. Plus, you can use the clever pop-out player. I like the S4, TouchWiz sits over Android Jelly Bean, complete with fun features like split-screen multitasking, S-Health, and gesture controls for touch-free interaction and clever eyeball tracking. But enough about that. Okay, so this is the bit I've been waiting for. It's time to put that camera to the test. Now, the Active is rocking an 8-megapixel camera as opposed to the 13 megapixels found on the S4. But of course, the most interesting part is its aqua mode on hand to help you get the most out of your underwater snaps. So. Let's give it a dunk. There's something inherently exciting about chucking a mobile in the wet stuff as the two just simply don't mix. Select aqua mode and you can choose your control option as the touchscreen won't work underwater. So you can assign video or image capture to the volume buttons. In use, we encountered no problems with the active underwater. Capture was easy and more importantly, it survived and will survive up to a depth of one meter for 30 minutes. A more tactile back cover for added grip would have been nice, but at least you can hold the active confidently. Now we're not going to lie, our initial results were a tad disappointing, with images plagued by blurriness and a distinct lack of detail. Colour reproduction was pretty spot on, but we're going to blame this on its 4 times zoom, which didn't seem to cope well with close-ups. After an unzoomed second attempt, we were happy with the next round of results, which were much more to our liking and of a higher standard. Now, generally, the Active doesn't cope well with moving underwater images, which appear fuzzy and blurred with the occasional exception. In stark contrast, we were able to take absolutely stunning still underwater photos with plenty of detail. Even in some of the cloudier tanks, we were still able to take acceptable snaps with only a little fuzziness. But the star of the show, without a doubt, has to be its underwater video. Colour, detail and quality all scream compact cam. And we think you'll agree, it looks pretty impressive for a smartphone. We noticed the active would freeze after most dips, but a quick tap on the power button provides a temporary fix. There are plenty of other shooting modes too, like continuous shooting mode, sound and shot and panorama, as well as a range of fun filters. The Active produces a range of average to excellent results using auto and touch focusing works well. Colours could perhaps be a little richer, especially for macro shots, which otherwise look stunning. It doesn't do too well in low light either, but overall, we're happy with the results. And when it comes to video, the Active's Full HD capture won't disappoint. You can pause while recording, which we always like, but zoom is a little jagged and the continuous autofocus is average. But the S4 is powerful enough to handle everyday tasks and everything is pretty fast, although there's a slight delay when hitting that home button. Fire up your favourite apps though, and the experience is first class, as you'd expect from a device at this level. And just so you know, internal storage can be boosted from 16GB to 64GB via microSD. 
It may be missing some of the S4's features, but the S4 Active rocks a very good looking display, an impressive camera and an incredibly powerful processor. Its waterproofing capabilities are excellent and it's the Active's promise of protection from the elements that makes it a very exciting smartphone. You don't have to worry about getting your phone wet, you can afford to be a bit more careless with it and more importantly, you can have fun taking photos in and out of water. It may be slightly thicker than the S4, but it's not like you're compromising on screen size or quality. It's cheaper. And did I mention it's also waterproof? <laughs>